Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will learn how to add bootstrap model pop-up window in our React.js application. Um, here, I will create a button. On click of that button, we will show the model pop-up window. In that model pop-up window, we can fill the details to create new department in our SQL table. So, we can add this model pop-up as separate component. We can call this component on click of the button. Okay, go to Visual Studio Code Editor. Let's add new component here. Right click on components, then click new file, add department model.js. Let me add necessary imports here and HTML contents import react, then component from react. This is mandatory for all the components. Next we have import model then button row column form from react bootstrap then we'll create a class here export class component name will be add department model which extends component inside this will create constructor in our previous video I have explained about this constructor inside this will have super method um, to use uh, or initialize this keyword, we have to use this method super method. Okay, next we'll have render method to initialize this component. Inside this, we'll have return to add HTML contents. Okay, now go to the browser, you are search for React Bootstrap. Click this first link reactbootstrap.github.io Then click components here. You have search for model. It has uh, different types of models. Okay, I'm going to choose one. Okay additional vertically centered okay let's check it see here this is a pop-up window looks like it has heading this is body of this model pop-up window here we have the class button to close this pop-up window and one more we have the close button in footer this is a uh, header model header this is model footer this is model body okay okay let's copy the code here so I am going to uh, copy from here until this. Okay, copy this. Go back to Visual Studio Code Editor. Just paste it. Just align it. Okay, now I will do some changes here. Mm, this is adding, right? So I will modify this to add department. Then this is body of the model pop-up window. Just remove it. I will add do here in future will add form fields class name container here will add the form fields okay this is a model footer here we have the close button um, by default it's displayed in blue color so I want to change this to red color variant will be danger so this close button will be looking on uh, red color okay let me add one button in department page before that we'll, we'll have import import button then button toolbar from react bootstrap then we have to import this add department model here. Add department model.
model from dot slash add department model okay i will create one variable here in the state add model show so i will set this false okay what i did here uh, i created a variable here add model show by default i set this false based on this variable we can control the visibility of uh, model pop up window uh, if it's true a model pop up window will be shown if it false model pop up window will not be shown okay next uh, in in that model pop up window we have a close button right so in that close button also we have to hide this model pop up window for that um, i will create one method here let add model close then arrow function will set this state of the variable as false add model show will be false okay on when this department page load it will be false and on click of that button it will be close button it will be false okay next we'll have the button here before that i will put everything in a div in return okay div okay here we'll have button toolbar inside this we'll have button i will give the button text as save next variant will be primary that means the button will display it in blue color next uh, on click of the on click of this button we have to show the model pop up window right for that we'll have parenthesis then arrow function will set the state set state of the variable add model add model show true okay only on click of this button we will show the model pop up window so i set this variable as true otherwise it will be false next we we'll have okay button finished um we have to add this uh, add department model here add department model it is a self closing tag so you are will show the this dot state dot add model show it will be shown based on this variable if it's true department model will be shown if it false uh, it will not be shown Okay, next we'll have on add. In on add, we'll call this function here. Add model close. Add model close. Okay, that's it. Uh, we are calling this um, on add in button add department model. Here we have this method props dot on add. Okay. Okay, let's check it in browser if there is any issue. Okay, add department model. Props is not defined. Okay, here we have one error. Props here. Um, 
if you are using super method we have to use this keyword here here also okay okay see here we have the save button here on click of the button we have to show the model pop-up window let's check it yeah we have the model pop-up here and model header is add department uh, here we have to add the form fields in later we have the close button if i click the close button this model pop-up window should be disabled okay it's working fine okay guys uh, in our next video we'll add form fields and uh, consume post api method if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you